Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to Naza's Kitchen Fun. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these samosas with a potato filling that is so yum yum yum. So let's get started. Um, in a large bowl I've added two um, cups of all-purpose flour. I've added one teaspoon of salt. Please use salt according to your diet and a teaspoon of um, cumin seeds. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one-fourth of a cup of cooking oil and actually I'm using olive oil right now so you can use any kind of oil it really doesn't depend then using your clean washed hands go ahead and mix all those ingredients together making sure that you get the oil really well incorporated into the flour just like that because we want the samosas to be crunchy and flaky yet soft at the same time so go ahead and mix all that up together just like that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some water and it's gonna be cold water make sure it's cold water and I have about a cup laying by me what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in little by little intervals of the water making making sure that you don't get your dough too soft we want a nice um, roti type of dough mixture just like you would make for rotis or chapatis or tortillas so go ahead and just use as much as water as you can to make a nice firm dough like I said it's not gonna be more than a cup of water and make sure that it's cold you can use a mixer for this as well a stand mixer and that makes beautiful dough because my sister does it that way but anyways guys so this is what the dough looks like like this it should be nice and soft it should be easy to work with what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this immediately what right after you're done with the dough make little balls like this to separate them I'm using a samosa maker today for these samosas so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the little balls of the of the samosa rotis and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shape them and put them to a side so they stay nice and soft like that otherwise your flour will eventually turn up to be really firm and then it's gonna be hard to work with so after I've made those let them sit for just a couple of minutes and just go ahead and start rolling the the samosa flour out just like that just like you would a normal roti and if it tends to stick sprinkle some flour on top just like that and then put them to a side in the meantime get two boiled potatoes that have been cooled and that you've crushed either with a spoon a fork or your hands it doesn't matter and add a bunch of cilantro add about um, three-fourths of a cup of green um, onions I've added two medium tomatoes and I've added two medium chili peppers what I've done is diced all those ingredients together I've added one teaspoon of crushed red chili peppers because I prefer a lot of pepper but if you don't please use less I've added one teaspoon of um, coriander powder and I've added one teaspoon of salt now I've added just a little bit of cumin seeds right on top and I'm gonna mix all those together um, you can go ahead and use more coriander powder if you like because those taste that taste really good in samosas and now guys this is my secret ingredients that I use in these samosas chaat masala I've added a teaspoon of chaat masala right on top of that you can add more if you'd like to and go ahead and mix all those together I'll have the ingredients in the description box below for you guys okay so now using my samosa maker or you can use um, just uh, you can use basically a fork and a pizza cutter to cut them up into samosa shapes and just seal them off with a fork but today I'm using this samosa maker I've placed one of my tortillas that I've rolled out right at the bottom and what I'm gonna do is get a good amount about a tablespoon each of the mixture and I'm gonna go ahead and place those right onto the samosa maker just like that now I'm sure you guys can see that I did not cook the tomatoes this the onions the cilantro or the green peppers and believe me guys this has been a real famous recipe my mom used to make these when we were younger I used to think is she crazy for not doing that but now that I'm older and I cook and I know what everything tastes like believe me this is gonna be a hit in your family it's gonna be so delicious everything just blends in together really good so after I've added that on I've placed my other tortilla right on top and what I've done is rolled it from the top so the samosas will come out right from the bottom of the samosa maker once I flip it over just like that there we go voila and our samosas are made and ready to be fried just like that look how good that looks guys the samosa maker makes eight samosas like you can see and um, 
you guys can see that there and see how good it looks. So what we're going to do now is we're going to heat up some oil in a frying pan. And once you know that you've added something in or you know that your oil is nice and hot, you don't want to overheat it, go ahead and drop in your samosas one by one gently, making sure you don't crowd up your frying pan, especially if you're a new cook or learning how to cook. So go ahead and um, fry those up. Once you see that they're light golden brown, give them a turn on the other side. And once they cook for about a minute on each side, your samosas should be done. They should look like this, nice and light golden brown. Go ahead and get a thong or something to take them out with. And just let go of the excess oil, shake it off right in there and place either on a paper towel or just on a plate, it doesn't matter. The way the flour mixture is, it should not soak up a lot of oil. It's just the perfect consistency. So so I'm sure it will be really, really good. So look how nice those look, guys. So yummy, crunchy, appetizing, and delicious. So now I'm just going to go ahead and serve them onto my serving dish. Now I like to make this mint... Um, coriander chutney with this using sour cream I just mix everything together in a blender um, I'll leave that description I'll leave that recipe in the description box below for you guys as well and of course I have to have my diet Pepsi with that this is perfect for when you have an expected guest you can freeze these samosas for up to weeks in your freezer in an airtight container and this is the perfect recipe for Ramadan so I hope you guys enjoy it please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe until next time take care and khadafiz